journey, I guess you could say, is uh, completed now that we were able to return her to her family. An Ohio deputy tonight on the return home of the cremated remains of a Green Bay teen murdered nearly 40 years ago. Good evening, everyone. The search for her killer, however, is ongoing. The body of Jeannie Marie Melville was exhumed last week in Dark County, Ohio, and then cremated. Melville was murdered in 1970, but her identity was just recently confirmed through DNA testing. Investigators from Ohio brought Melville's remains to Green Bay late this afternoon. Robert Hornacek has more tonight in this Fox 11 follow-up. Two investigators from Dark County, Ohio, came to Green Bay to bring Jeannie Melville home. Her journey, I guess you could say, is uh, completed now that we were able to return her to her family today. Just last week, the remains of the 18-year-old who was murdered back in 1970 in Ohio were exhumed and cremated. Chief Deputy Mark Whitaker says he and coroner's investigator Joe Van Vickel spent a couple of hours with Melville's family in Green Bay. Relieved, um, emotional. Um, we had opportunity to sit down and answer questions that they've had for a long time that they didn't have answered. Whitaker says there are still a lot of questions. Melville's nude body was found in an Ohio cornfield back in 1970. She had left Green Bay to visit her aunt in Ohio. Plausible thought is she arrived in Richmond, Indiana, where's, where she was supposed to arrive at, and somewhere there something went wrong. Melville was not identified until a few weeks ago thanks to her aunt, who saw this facial reconstruction last year. That tip led to a DNA test, which confirmed the remains were Melville. We achieved our first objective, which is to identify her. Now comes the even harder part, finding out who killed her. Whitaker says he hopes the media coverage in the case will help. Hoping that someone out there will hear or see this. It'll jog a memory. Uh, for all we know, maybe there was a jailhouse confession one time, and somebody will make connection. Investigators say when they return to Ohio, they will start focusing on the homicide part of the investigation. But before they leave Green Bay, they do plan to attend a private memorial service for Melville. That's tomorrow in Green Bay. Melville's remains will be buried next to her brother.